Hey guys, it's Shadow. Let's jump into the Ismail campaign. I came here with a quest for vengeance. For years, I have sulked in cowardice. But the time is finally upon me. I come to slay Shah Ismail, the bane of my existence. These decrepit streets are the last place that I ever expected to find him. But underneath that unkempt beard and blasphemous stench. I know those eyes anywhere. If I were to finish the deed here and now, I could finally enjoy a night of peace. Yet as he sits there stone-faced, my head now races with questions. Why does he not recognize me, the sister of his former confidant? How much longer can he hurt what remains of my pride? I must know. Vengeance is a feeling that Ismail knows as well as I. His father was the Grand Master of the Safavid Order, a group of so-called radicals who for generations had promised salvation to a Persia still reeling from Tamerlane's invasion. Back then, these lands were ruled by a federation of tribes called the Akkoyunlu. Some of us Turkomans constituted their ruling elite. But others, such as myself and my brother, suffered under their reign. And we were eager to liberate ourselves from their watchful eyes. Together with their ally, Faruk Yassar of Shirvan, the Akkoyunlu had tried to destroy the Safavids for years. When they killed the infant Ismail's father in battle and locked the boy away, it seemed as though they had finally succeeded. Yet the order survived, and after years of private training, the now 12-year-old Ismail set out to seek his revenge. His first priority was to slay Farouk Yassar and avenge the father that he never knew. I've already completed this mission, but I didn't realize there was an achievement until afterwards, so let's go and do it. It is not safe here, young Ismail. We must hurry to Erzinjan before the Akkoyunla hunt us down. So we're gonna try and, uh. collect all of the additional troops that we can find. I'm not exactly sure where all of them are. I don't think I found them all previously. Many more and there are some down the there. We must be careful. Problem is, they keep going after the CA. It's like a constant thing. I need them to be hitting the knights, not even the light guy. Really they will join us. The damage. There's two more groups I know that lands rot under the you have access to. They must be led by someone more righteous, like yourself, my sheep. Nothing more righteous or self-righteous than a 12-year-old, apparently. These men say that they will join us. Alright, let's go over to here. And then what we need to do once we've collected this last group is we need to send Ismail over to here. And we send the rest of them to try and sneakily kill the group. These men say that they will join us. Probably the easiest way of doing this is to kill the patrols so that when I arrive in the next area, there's less likelihood of uh, Ismail getting caught.
Now they're all going for the same target. That was all of the melee it's up to the one. Alright, this is when we start heading over to here with these. And there's one more patrol here. Oh no. Okay. Put him on stand ground. Basically, we need to distract this patrol whilst we kill Farouk and then get Ishmael out. <laughs> Seems pretty straightforward, right? I think what we might do is pull them towards where the rest of my army is going. For us. Oh, there she ever. That's interesting. Well, they would uh, aggro that. So Farouk should leave. Now, I think. Oh, I think maybe I have to pull them out up here, defeat them up here. He's still there. I haven't seen. I think he's still there, though. I wasn't chasing? Okay. For anyone wants to actually speedrun this, you'll need to lower these. Up to here. Hope that he paths the right directions. And that there's no more green scouts around here. Once you clean this up, it will then prop a route to leave his little uh, blue prison there. That's when we can go and kill him. We're definitely missing husbandry. Finally, we have a permanent base of operations. Yeah, that's not where I want the Set CC. forth and spread my word to as many Turkomans as you can find. We will need quite the contingent to take the fight to the Shirvansha. I don't want to prop these enemies, whatever we do. You can start heading over to here and get some extra units. Has he left yet? Feels like it's taking a little while to get there. Now that we have a permanent base, can we please go raid the Georgians like I suggested earlier? Their supplies would sure make Maybe this is my ordeal a lot easier. You're wondering why I'm waiting here? It's because uh Baruch's actually in the I can ballistics. I thought that the survival There we go. For us, I shall have to return to my books later. Alright, oh, plus one defense in the Cavalier. What? Your words ring true, young Ishmael. We are pledged to your court. All right, that's the achievement no. done. How could I lose to so I get access to his entire army as well. I have waited for this moment all of my life. Now, we control this fortress. Wonder if we can just kill Shervan like this. Oh, not even Castle, that's right. Ari? D 
see how many of these we can get. I don't really care about the units themselves, I care more about the upgrades that they get. I'm going to each of these uh, little zones. Looks like we were just short there as well. They want me to go and kill some, uh, the bear before I can actually go in. So expensive. Our valiant leader seems to have taken a few scabs. Return him to camp and bandage his wounds. Ori. I wonder if I can afford any more. Nah, we're a little bit short. Let's just take what we have here. See if we can go and uh, clear heal or at least weaken them significantly. Your words ring true, young Ishmael. We are pledged to your cause. Thumb ring, not particularly useful right now, but better than a hole in the head, I guess. Freaking long swords. Oh, oh come on. Your words ring true, young Ishmael. We are pledged to your court. That's not particularly useful again, but eh. Oh. I have a monastery, but a couple of monks would be good to heal these up as we go. Your words ring true, young Ishmael. We are pledged to your cause. Nice, that's really useful. I just make an extra bill up here. Your words ring true, young Ishmael. We are pledged to your cause. Oh, did I lose one? Damn. No, oh, okay, it's just back here. Doesn't do really nice. I'm actually getting so much back just from uh, so much gold back just from these killing units. Not gonna be the fastest speedrun I've ever seen, but definitely resembles one. I need a monastery. Uh, a monk, even. But heal these up. Get rid of some more towers. Uh, one more of these. <laughs> really, 
really is about as bare bones of an economy as you can get. But even I can be called an economy. That mission's too hard for this. Alright, which one's her healthy? kind of entertained to speedrun this one. Be nice if this would actually listen to defensive though. Nah, I, I think I actually want to get rid of these. Yeah, that's Bodkin on them. Actually doing quite a substantial bit of damage. Oh. Damn it. Well, I'll have to take forever to heal up. Maybe a ram. Try and slowly uh, lock numbers here. This is such a bare bones economy, it's ridiculous. Should be able to get two rams up, but we're probably gonna actually need one. Might go for the two though. Farmer, Ori, Mikonam, Sahi, Mikonam, Sahi. Gonna heal the weakest one. Ori, Mikonam. Alright, that's done. Well, Elephants do so much freaking damage to buildings. The Holy riches crap. of Shirvan are ours to keep. Take all that you can, my loyal followers. Oh. That was a lot quicker than the one I did earlier. <laughs> And that's how you get the achievement. You have made the impossible possible. Let us rest for the night, for we have many adventures to share together. Is it? It breaks my heart to think that I once swore loyalty to this haggard. Yet there was a time that Ismail was the epitome of a valiant leader. I still remember the first time that we met him. My tribe was among the lucky few in Anatolia that he personally invited to ride with him to Erzinjan. 
For weeks, my brother would not stop talking about this captivating, fearless youth. Once we arrived in Erzinjan, he told us that Allah had commanded him to free us from the tribal life of generational bickering that we were all too used to. Such claims were not uncommon, but his intense conviction, firm as the blade of his Shamshir, made us certain that he spoke the truth. He dubbed his soldiers the Kizilbash, the red hats for the twelve pleated garments that they were to adorn themselves with in battle. Embarrassed as I am to admit it, I still keep my brothers as a reminder of our youth and of all the possibilities that it once promised. Strong-willed though Ismail was, he was also uncommonly generous. No sooner had his troops sacked Shirvan than he distributed the plunder among them. They were the only true family that he ever had, and he knew how to make everyone feel important to the cause. Looking back, I should have known all along how paranoid this boy truly was. I have fixated on Ismail's leftover kebab this whole time which he seems to have picked up on. I am skeptical of his generosity, but with all of my lingering questions, I will be needing all of the energy that I can get. Despite the fall of Shirvan, the Ak Koyunlu were only battered, not broken. Panicked by Ismail's swift rise, they assembled their forces near the village of Sharur, a place of strategic importance between his camps in the southern Caucasus and their capital of Tabriz. Although Ismail was horrifyingly outnumbered, the promise of battle lit a fire in him which spread to his men. They laid their lives at his disposal, for they knew that their leader was also ready to confront whatever fears they had. I can't imagine going, like, listening to a 12 year old and being like, yeah, you sound like you got your head screwed on, right? <laughs> for battle. We have been underdogs for far too long. Once we are rid of these tyrants, we will march on Tabriz and forge a new empire. From there, we will spread our cause. Like a rash, I guess. <laughs> Let's try and get three fishing ships out. This we seem to have an ally. Let's see if they're actually any good. So this helps uh, alleviate the food issues we're going to have in about. 25 seconds <laughs> by having three Persian TCs and not the best economy behind that. Trade the Armenians for a reason. Taking on the hardy garrisons of Tabriz could prove costly for us. If we capture the nobles hiding in the countryside before the battle begins. Then we might be able to convince Hello, them to help us. Oh. Damn it. Realized that was happening way too late. Yeah. Hurry. Shoo, 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 shoo. Generating a bit of gold from these starving units. Dispatch orders to us, and we shall follow your lead, my shake. Have to look through that in a second. Salam. 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 Wonder if you, if it's similar to those a lot of missions where. 
people kill buildings and you get resources, or if it's... I think it'll be like things at the trade workshop. More likely than anything else. I'm not gonna make too many fishing ships because the fish isn't too amazing. Do a bit of food there, so we also get onto the, the side a bit heavier. Alright, see what this gives me probably gold I'm gonna guess. Quite a bit of stone as well, it's actually quite cool. Actually might go after you first. Funny thing is, even in ranked games and such, I haven't actually seen the... Fortified Monastery make much... Uh, strength. But I think it's because it's a lot harder for human students than the AI, for example. I don't know how many resources we've actually generated for these by killing units. They're actually attacking. Oh, this is a tower. Golden's probably here for some revenge from the previous one. Both of these missions seem to start with impossibly low amounts of gold, like. Probably to compensate for the fact that side objectives give you gold and the Persian rebate also exists now. And I guess I don't have murder horse, so I can start attacking that. No imp again. Yeah, the castle. Yeah. The blacksmiths apparently we don't have one. Oh. I think it was 125. Let's have a look at 210, 220. Strike our enemies early, my Kizilbash. We shall keep them on their toes, as you wish. Actually, probably makes sense to start off with the knights. How much they kind of rebate initially? I don't want to start capturing these nobles. Well. That was basically, uh, kings. 
We have eight minutes until they start attacking. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Take one more, I'll have to clear that. Wow, that's a pile of uh, war elephants and such. Maybe a bit too much wood floating there. Salon. Ori, Memo, Mikona. Ori, Salon, Memo. But a castle right in the middle somewhere. Ori. Probably some more bills that can go. Oh wow, this. <laughs> I thought they were going to be a lot better defended, so this I was like, we'll have to send them more. District in our favor. Its residents will no longer obstruct our way to the palace. Let's get that the first. Savavids approach our walls. Report to the front lines and stave them off. Oh. We get three. I think I only got one in the end. I'll come back for them later. Oh my god, that whole thing though. Funny, because that scorpion actually did so much damage here. And usually ca with cavalry it's not too much of a concern. Our valiant leader seems to have taken a few scouts. Return him to camp and bandage his wounds. Oh, this is taking ages to get through. Oh, well. Let's see what's over there. This noble has swayed his district in our favor. Its residents will no longer obstruct our way to the palace. I did a bit of that. I uh, as well. This noble has swayed his district in our favor. Its residents will no longer obstruct our way to the palace. We have cornered you at last. Lay down your weapons. Well, prepare to fight. 
Lengthen my sword so that I may reach the enemy. Ja, haben sie schon für das Wahl? Start making camels for this. A bit more cost efficient. It's most of those units. Cost less gold. No one cares that he's now able to buy. Literally no one. Uh, actually, we don't really need more bombs to keep the food flow. Ashley running along with you. Ori. Sahi. Get fifteen of these together. Ori, Sala, Neymar, Chukur. Be annoying with things. Yep. Trying to see if the TCH has anything underneath. Because if it doesn't, then we can suck in that very easily. Um, though we are of your incursions, the Ottomans are our true worry. Let me offer you a deal. If you bring us a relic, we will let you be. We will await your decision. Not against our that idea. leader seems to have taken a few scouts. They turned into camp and bandaged his wounds. I got, oh, that's from destroying buildings. Yeah, it looks like uh, a few corner though. I never know how to say that. Even though like, well, they've said it like 20 times in the campaign so far. Seem to have quite a bank of resources. Maybe they just want the, the monastery to shoot arrows, that's why they're longing for a relic. I wasn't originally gonna make World of yeah, but it seems to be the play. Extra bonus against buildings feels almost unnecessary. <laughs> They're already so good against buildings.
Ja, jag sa att du blottade sig. Nej, jag håller det. Nej, jag håller det. Nej, jag håller det. Nej, jag håller det. Ah, they do have another TC back there. At least we can finally get a good night's sleep again. I don't know how right to help them sleep. What? Were you expecting more from us? Very well. Take this horseman with you. Consider yourself lucky that we were this generous at all. I honestly wasn't expecting to do anything. I know what this is like. I can't even make friends with the Armenians too. Of a castle there or something, though. Why is they? They're not. Oh, they're not actually training units. I thought they were training them. So I've sent a few that way, but they seem to get stuck by something. But the last one, no, it's another one down there. Oh, and another castle too. Oh, that's what happens. They patrol them so they, and then they find a target and they get distracted, plus the stone walls. You better let me in. I probably should send it forward, but I can't really be bothered. <laughs> right, that should be the last TC, I imagine. They won somewhere else, potentially. Mm, that's not ideal. Leader seems to have taken a few scouts. Return him to camp and bandage his wounds. There we go. Yes! Bumbling imbecile! <laughs> we have the advantage! <laughs> Bumbling imbecile. Oh, that's a good one. Onwards! A priest is waiting for us! Now the AI making the orange ones of these is actually a massive pain in the ass. It just takes so long to kill. Oh god, there is another relic. I thought there might be somewhere. Okay, so here. And then here. Another what, gold power on somewhere. I have no idea where it ended up being though. Jesus. 
<laughs> I don't remember exactly how much the they increased it up. I feel like it was quite a large amount. Oh yeah, he is my house, but... I don't actually have to even kill this, we can just go straight through. Imagine seeing a whole bunch of elephants take over your plaza like this. Let us share this moment together. For today, Persia rises again. I think you can play in the missions uh, in the opposite order when you get an extra base. You see? Karnais announced Ismail's arrival in Tabriz. The charismatic boy emerged Shah of Persia. The Safavid Order was now the Safavid Empire. As Ismail's army entered the Grand Palace, Nays and Tombak sounded in revelry of their victory as they beheld the wonders of their new capital. Yet as I watched the procession, I worriedly noticed my brother's absence. I knew he would never have missed the chance to celebrate such a victorious, joyful moment. Fearing the worst, I left and scoured the battlefield. After hours of frantic searching, I found my brother lying among a host of slain Akkoyulu. The moonlight illuminating his lifeless face. My heart shattered as my pained cry pierced the air. I thought that I had calloused myself to these wounds. But the truth resurfaces like a knife as I unearth these suppressed memories. How I long to drive that knife into Ismail. When I finished my meal, I noticed a scrap of parchment which the Shah had dropped on the floor. One of his old poems. I am the Alexander of my contemporaries, the words of the younger Ismail declared. <sighs> However much I have tried to suppress the words inked on this greasy note, they remain etched into my heart. Perhaps it was just the Greek blood from his mother's side of the family. But from the very beginning, the self-proclaimed Alexander of the Safavids coveted all of Persia, and he was determined to conquer it at the point of a sword. Having secured his new capital, this ambition now seemed within reach. Crippled though they were by their defeat, the Akkoyulu were still not content to surrender peacefully. Indeed, after the loss of Tabriz, they were now fighting for their very survival. Ismail, naturally, was thrilled to put his abilities to the ultimate test. Twenty steadfast Safavids, he declared, would overcome two hundred Okkoyulu. So I already completed this mission, but didn't hit record, so we're going to be doing it again. Hills of Persia beckon to us. Let us waste no time in fulfilling our grand mission. Honestly, I haven't touched campaigns in a week, so I was so annoyed. Wow, these are husbandry feel really slow. I'm say it's probably just the knights that are making it feel that bad. Oh, 
Last time we tried doing a full-on boom, this time I'm going to try and speedrun it a little bit. So we're going to try and get a bit of fish economy going, which tends to scale in a little bit faster. That tends to also have a slightly lower peak. Your poetry has garnered quite a following beyond Persia. We can attract more Kizilbash to our cause by offering oh, nice. some of our sheep. Still want to get a second TZ going as soon as I can. Go oh, and tribute to Kizilbash, even though they suck. We fight for Shah Ismail! I think it was 210, right? No, I'm thinking of a different mission. 63. Attack player three. As you wish. Don't want to aggro them too much, but when there are smaller numbers like this, I'd rather deal with them now. Ah, uh, so a TC that why not? Um, hopefully Red will protect me. <laughs> we can trade with Anatolian Turkmens, provided that we break past the Ottoman blockade. River Tigress was the birthplace of civilization itself. Its fabled history shall continue with us. We're actually generating a bit of gold doing this, so that's the only reason I'm still bothering with that. Not sure if it's enough to be justifying throwing away units. But I haven't decided which units the best to go for just yet. Honestly, Heavy Camel kind of sounds good, but Heavy Camel kind of sucks as well. Oh, I thought I started bringing you in already. I don't believe there's an achievement for this mission. I didn't notice it before if there was. Based on the fact they didn't take the sheep, though, I don't feel like they had a um, proper economy in this mission, which could make it a lot grindier. The first time I played it through, I wasn't too bad on the grindiness. I wouldn't say it wasn't grindy. I've definitely played far worse in that regard. I can't tell if this was worth it, to be honest with you, with the uh, fish broom. Okay, you could definitely look worse, but I don't know if it actually set up this process or not. Monk takes so long to get across the map, even with further. Get kill nets. Oh, they are taking them now. Oh, they're gonna take mine as well. Oh my god. Had to say it before, didn't I? Not sure why we're escorting goats back to our base. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's Alfonso. You're not. It's fine.
I always guarantee they're going to hit the most annoying time possible. Well, it was a nice attempt to get the relic. I look at them delivering some sheep to me. Very kind. Good sir. <laughs> Oh, they already got that far. Last time the AI was complete trash, yeah. Might start just conserving food and going up, so I don't really want to be super overboomed anyway. Damn. They're actually micro back for that. Does that must have a proper economy though? Yeah, look at that villager. Keep forgetting this bonus doesn't work on um villagers. Brace yourself for a siege. Do not grieve. All have become your enemies. A challenger always flings bricks and stones from afar. Yeah, I, I'm the only one who's meant to be doing shit like this. Whoops. Amazing how much raise you can get with a version bonus like this. Oh, that double kill though. I have to keep him alive anyway. Our valiant leader seems to have taken a few scouts. Return him to camp and bandage his wounds. Feels so weird here and that. Find the guy is like 40 at this point, probably. Maybe not, maybe still 20, you know. Oh, and that's why we're going for heavy camels, because even though assassins get better ones, kind of counters both sieves relatively decently. Get that. Did the AI give me... Good... No, 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 that's not what I want. That's uh, that one. Good prices. I don't want yields to be honest, if they're going to be using market this much. I feel like they might end up giving uh, the caravansary to the Saracens as well at some point, to be honest with you. Already giving it to Persia and Hindustani. Feels like it could be very possible for them to add them to them next. Damn it, I won the last hit there. Can I get rid of the castle? That almost finished. Jeez. Never mind, I can take that as well. <laughs> I can't believe there's still sheep around.
tech guild, sir. I'm not exactly going to make this too difficult for us. And once we sell a bunch of resources, we can just spam the camel hop here. I love how I make it seem like, oh yeah, he sounds ready to fight again. He's gonna be in such a great position. He sounds like a guy that's be like, get off of my lawn! Probably should have a couple more villagers to be honest. Kinda lacks on the boom this game. They usually massively over boom though. Oh, I have to build, I have to kill this TC as well, that's right. in a cage and make an example for anyone foolish enough to berate me. Ah oh, yes, he's very righteous. Soon those will probably all be gone. That and more traps would be good. First time I went for I uh, completed this mission, I went for what's it called? Uh, Savar, I believe. We are ravaged by the siege. This is all that we have left to work with. This has been way easier. I wonder if those two enemies, because we could get TL to go deal with that. I don't think there will be. I'm gonna try and clear both at the same time now, pretty much. Eh, I don't really need those villagers anyway. Do need the long shoot, though. I also had a little life hack because I wanted to save gold, but I didn't realize quite how strong the uh, that bonus was until then. Wait, why are you unpacking? Than having like a ridiculous number of everything, basically. Two. Wait, was it 62 or 63? Oh. Yeah, 62. Oh, there is a. I was thinking I was really lacking the army. Turns out I really was. Another trip. Honestly, Sea Drown's probably not a bad plan either. If I missed like onto that, you know. Onto the wall. Not taking light cap. Oh, that's right, there's a side mission for this. 
they will be forced to rely on weaker units. I think that's when I switched over to Savar in the main mission after taking heavy camel and I realized that they were just gonna spam camels all day long. Until that came back and I was like, oh that's pretty easy to deal with them. Our valiant leader seems to have taken a few scouts. Return him to camp and bandage his wounds. They finally quit. <laughs> I love that so chill about it. They finally quit. <laughs> Build another castle, why not? We should have more than the two villages building it. To be honest, with the number of uh, animals I'm making anyway, I think Savar would actually be alright. They're kind of lacking this time for whatever reason. Are these are Bactrian camels? Yeah, I think they're the Bactrian camel unit. Up on that. Take a massive rock to the face. <laughs> oh boy. Some of these ones so freaking obsessed with these buildings. You know, it'd be a lot more worrying if the AI actually knew how to bounce their economy. <laughs> I want to see if they've got anything back here. Probably a castle too. I extra time, annoying. But my true sights are set on India. If you would agree to finance my voyage east, then my sailors will leave you in peace. No! 25 minutes, so I am. The allied for the moment, he's neutral for the moment. Wait, where did you go? How did you deal with that? So he doesn't have Archibus yet. Any more idols? These ones. So that looks so cool, honestly. I think I'm meant to get through to back that this quickly. I'm not seeing Rage to do anything about it. Oh, there we go. GG. You can probably wonder to be side sooner. You can actually probably end this way faster than. You can just snipe the wonder, ignore everything else, and uh, end the back that that way. I always forget the fortified tower regions. Hell. Wait, how much gold we got back? Once the Ottomans learn of your atrocities, you will get your comeuppance. Our long-time adversaries are finally vanquished. Now, all of Persia is ours to do. Hours, he says. Don't that last. <laughs> GG. For all of the endless triumphs that Ismail recounts to me, those days will always be tainted by melancholy. 
by the time that the Akkoyuru met their demise. Any semblance of family within the Kizilbash was lost. Their days were now spent quelling uprisings of ever-increasing frequency, usually without Ismail's direct supervision. One evening, during one of Ismail's many feasts, I raised my cup in memory of my brother. Instead of honoring his fallen comrade, Ismail ignored me and yelled boisterously at his musicians to play another song. Was this truly the incorruptible figure that my brother had given his life to serve? The carousing, apathetic stranger in that hall bore no resemblance to the benevolent soul that my brother had once adored. That was when it finally dawned on me that Ismail, the divine Shah, and Alexander of the Safavids was just as fallible as any of us. Hearing the Shah tell of those days, I feel the same wounds puncture my heart once more. Not once has he mentioned my brother's name or his daring feats. If not for my curiosity, I would have silenced this wretched man hours ago. But the details that I crave the most are yet to come. One day, a visitor arrived from the east seeking aid and shelter. His master was the Timurid leader, Babur who hoped to reclaim his homeland of Transoxiana from the rapacious Uzbek warlord, Shaybani Khan. As Babur and Ismail both were avid lovers of poetry, the Timurid was confident that our Shah would happily answer the call. Yet for all of their similarities, Ismail loathed the thought of being compared to this mortal, as he described him. In accepting Babur's request for an alliance, Ismail hoped not for an enduring partnership, but an opportunity to supplant the Uzbeks from the historic Persian region of Khorasan, from which they had been launching raids against his new holdings. Khorasan rightfully belonged to the Timurids, but its links to the Silk Road trade made it one of the wealthiest regions in the world. Ancient shahs such as Cyrus and Yazdegerd had thriven off of its riches and as uprisings became increasingly common throughout Persia. Ismail believed that this territory was the key to protecting his throne. Although they swore to fulfill the Shah's wishes, there was an unspoken consensus among the Kizilbash that Ismail was overextending himself. Deep inside, they knew that they were headed for a breaking point. All right, here we go. Be relatively easy. Let me just go straight. If there's one of these ones, it usually means that if you can kill the leader, it'll be way easier for the rest of the mission. Jesus, okay. Why is it because of us worried just a reskin step on so? <laughs> that has no range. Feels very sad. Don't quite understand why the AI is so focused on killing the range units behind the melee army. You're still drunk with pride. After besting those frivolous pony riders, now you face a professional step warriors. There is Shaybani. Mm. Oh, it's okay. The castle isn't controlled by them. I don't actually know if I've lost many, if any, units so far. Okay, so we kind of want to take the long route around. I might forget into a couple of fights there. I think we're missing upgrades compared to them. Yeah, we're definitely missing upgrades compared to them. Uh, 
damn it. We chased your feeble friend off from our soil, and we shall do likewise to you. You can also just lure them in small packs. Yeah. There's Shea Barney now. Oh, he has shit tons of armor. And the rest of his army will either get weaker or something will happen as a result. We have slain that pompous knave. Now his demoralized horsemen fight with half the ferocity. Oh, they just have no attack. Couldn't have just buffed our unit so I don't have to pay for a bunch of upgrades soon, could they? Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was trying to keep that one alive if I could. I don't even think we have ballistics here. <laughs> okay. I shall toast this victory with his own skull. That's disgusting. Finally, I am free of that scourge. Tell me where I'm needed, Ismail, and I shall reinforce you promptly. I hope you do not take me lightly, Ismail. Given proper provisions, I am no pushover. Salon. Kill them all up. Oh, and no, I promise that I am not plotting to double cross you. I would never wish that upon anyone after experiencing it firsthand. Let me guess, we double cross Babu. <laughs> Definitely feels like one of those missions. Uh, start buying wood, seeing as the AI is gonna sell it. I just want a bunch of farms. Yeah, we said delete a piece of that stone wall because it's just causing pathing issues more so than anything else. They might take those balls soon enough. And I might build a fourth TC. So he needs to not make, make sure that Babu doesn't lose all of his town centers. Is that... He needs to get a lot of stuff there. Where's all the town centers though? One in the front. Do you have fun? Sure, there's more than one if it says all of his town centers. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Definitely want to get rid of Herat first. He's almost healed, mostly. I want to try and see if we can sneakily kill the Uzbek general. Make my life a little easier. I was gonna see if I could sneak past or better sneakily kill a villager or two though. Of course. Well, there's a elite saps, yeah. Lacking armor though. Really? Oh, okay, that's a lot of army. We'll just like Kizzlebash over that, right? 
Right? <laughs> Salam. Hurry, hurry. That ages ago, out. I have to wonder if they intentionally didn't give the final armor to a lot of these uh, enemies this time. So that you could use purge and cav archers more easily. I could have just done a fish for him to be honest, but... Nope. Oh. Look at that, I'm leave that fire. Oh, that was not great. Engaging up against humans now. This is not Tatars this time. I wonder if we can sneak this general. He's got a lot of health, a lot of armor, so probably not. Yep. Try and keep these alive if we can. Oh, houses. Creeps up so much faster when you're playing against the Persians. Can I half through there? I cannot. Hurry. The Uzbeks draw near my territory. Make haste and help me parry their assault. Nowhere good to place these, so that's what we're gonna have to do. Well, the good thing is already heading over that. Oh my dear. 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 I think the Uzbeks are actually going to be quite easy to kill. I mean, it might even just go Halb. Not that the most exciting though, is it? I'd rather go Paladin. Yeah, let's do Paladin. That, well, Savar now, I should say. To be fair, I do love the Savar as a unit. I think it's well made, I think it's interesting. I think these are probably dead. Right. To be honest, I'm just happy to trade these away. Holy food press. But ever since the AI started using market more, these missions have gotten easier. <laughs> Pretty sure they always did use market. But I swear they've used it way more in the last uh, few years than they did back on HD. Granted, I was also a much, much worse player back then. The Uzbeks draw near my territory. Oh Make no! And help anyway. me carry their assault. I think we'll still go for Harad. 
Might as well. I didn't realize I didn't already have a castle on. Huh. It's gonna slow us down quite a bit. Pretty bad timing for me to deal with that. Yeah. Oop, that's not reveal. This for some reason though not engaging from quite a close distance actually. I don't normally go for the slide missions, but I feel this is gonna actually gonna help a lot. Getting rid of them. Then more gold somewhere. There's actually not much gold in this map. But again, like the previous ones. It could just be a situation where you don't even need it. I don't really care too much about losing a few of those. I'm probably going for the trap first, to be honest. Not the end of the world, though, either way. That's gonna keep feeding me gold here at this rate. Speaking of, that's gonna get killed and then sell a bunch of food. Delete you. Kinda of funny how uh, like Kashyyyk generate gold, they've got Kashyyyk. I generate gold, just from having cavalry. I get my soul. Is overstuffing my oh, wow. Take the surplus for yourself and do spend it. They're gonna try to make me feel bad for when Salon. this arsehole eventually does betray Bebu, aren't they? Ori? The Uzbeks draw near my territory. Make haste and help me parry their oh, assaults. Do they have holes? I do have a holes. Why is On Savar, I wouldn't care too much because I only have Bodkin. I get the hustle away from that. Need to lose a few bills anyway. Nope, that's not gonna work. Oh my god, I can't build! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's we'll see if we got an extra base or something, or an extra ally. Yep, there we go. The enemy forces oh, extra gold. Dispatch your orders to us, and we shall follow your lead, my shake. Where did the trap go? I just send it back. Probably just send it back. Let me guess it's like 62 again. 210, 220. As you wish. That was aggressive, right? Yeah. Don't really have to keep the Kizzle Bash alive, so I'm not gonna try. <laughs>
Wow, they <laughs> buildings do no fucking damage to Savar. That's actually kind of embarrassing. We have raised one of the Uzbek castles. I don't even need traps for the rest of this. This is not the path we were taught to tread. Oh, do they just have to destroy a bunch of their own stuff? Wow. I hate how little line of sight knights have. Okay, maybe bringing traps is a good idea. Yeah, they went a bit too deep here. I think it's because of the number of guard towers, to be honest. Oh, for God's sake. Team Salam, Omode, Memo. Memo. Love of like Babu must not lose his town uh, centers. I don't think he's at any risk of ever doing that, basically. Looking at this. I was thinking that that'd be a bit easier to go and destroy. I'm not saying that they're difficult, but. They can put up more of a resistance than I expected them to initially. Bebo, can you please speak up to the next age to suck less? Thank you very much. Okay, I'm not going to see it anywhere. Oh. Oh no, you're not having a war elephant. Might attack light cap just in case. There's Babu. Can they please buy much more food than they were doing before? Shit, they actually slapped the tram. That's why I kept a few there, but I didn't think they were going to get you that quick about it. For God's sake. We have leveled two of Gazdavan's castles. Soon I will be home at last. Let me guess. Either Babu betrays me and I have to defeat him after this. Or I had to betray Babu and I have to defeat Babu after this. Like, as in, like, I take this entire area or something. Because it got leveled. It wasn't meant to get leveled or something. I'm just gonna try and do this again. Really don't have to go through all of these buildings before eventually coming to kill them. I just have to weaken the economy a little bit first to do that. They can't keep training a whole bunch of stuff. 
So these are hot from there. Kill. I just to lure these far enough out from underneath the freaking castle. Cause yeah, they keep retreating as well, I guess. That's Oh, they even went masonry. Yeah, that won't last too much longer. Human speed. So annoying. Oh, that's actually will be fine. Three of Gazdevan's castles lie in ruin. Now is our chance to take the city. Wait, what else for attack? Buff anymore? Wait, what is going on? Yeah. Why are you just stalling? We're betraying him. Enough! All this senseless destruction, and for what? To breed more hostility? Our patience has run out. They're taking away all my units. Oh, if only you had foreseen the descent in your ranks, Ismail, we would have prevailed. Now I am forced to migrate okay. to India. Never to see my beloved Transoxiana again. <laughs> Allah gives and Allah takes. Good riddance. At least Horason is mine to keep. So the end of the mission? That feels very unsatisfying. GG. <laughs> like a lion complacent to its privilege, power can corrupt even the savviest of leaders. Ismail's misadventures in Central Asia made the Kizilbash keenly aware of how power had changed him. Consumed by his tireless vanity, his soft words of wisdom were now replaced by fits of rage. As old tribal feuds began to re-emerge, only the fear of retribution still held their loyalty intact. Questioning Ismail about what happened at Gazdevan, he blames his unruly commander for not keeping his subordinates in check. Yet, as much as he denies it by his tongue, his stubborn temper reveals everything to me. Deep inside, I think he knows that Babur surpassed him in many ways. That chronic underdog never took his victories for granted. Even as the Fergana Valley was lost to him forever, he remained steadfast as he crossed the Hindu Kush to start anew. This type of resilience always eluded Ismail, who never accepted that he was capable of making mistakes. Whether or not the Kizilbash were ready to admit it, they secretly wished that he would learn to value this lesson. Then one day, their hopes finally came true, and in the most horrific way possible. Knowing where this story is inevitably headed, I find myself tensing with dread. For this is where the Alexander of the Safavids was knocked from his pedestal. A fall that has led him here, to these desolate outskirts of his capital. Ismail's demise began not in Persia, but in the ever-growing Ottoman Empire. A man named Shah Kulu attempted a coup against the ruling dynasty. 
much like Ismail had rallied his own followers to depose the Ak Koyunlu. Although Sharkulu's uprising proved unsuccessful, it was clear now to the Ottomans that Ismail's sway over their Turkoman subjects was no longer possible to ignore. A year later, Selim the Grim ascended to the Turkish throne, the victor of a strenuous civil war. In an act befitting his name, the new Sultan rounded up 40,000 Safavid sympathizers and had them all executed, blaming Ismail for infecting the minds of his rightful subordinates he sent scathing letters his way. Still convinced of his own immortality, Ismail failed to take Salem's threat seriously, even pitying this unknown adversary. To him, this mysterious detractor was just like all others foolish enough to incur his wrath. This conflict culminated in the two leaders gathering at the plains of Chaldiran not far from the Safavid capital. What happened next, I am loath to mention, but I can already see the anguish dawning over Ismail's face as he opens his lips. All right, we're gonna try and get this achievement to uh, destroy the Ottomans as well. I'm guessing, I'm surprised I have Gizelbash allies, to be honest. My shot. We are outnumbered. We should wait until nightfall to launch our attack. Silence! Numbers have never thwarted me in the past, and these Turks are no exception. <laughs> Perfect. We have the Shah right at his voting list. Forward, march! I feel like I'm gonna get some defeated now. Although, to be honest, Savar are just so strong, but it's actually kind of fine. But there'll be a second group behind this, we'll have to retreat, I can almost guarantee The Ottomans are breaking! Come on everyone! Let us finish this battle with one last valiant charge! You have fallen right into my trap. I had expected no less from such a narcissist. Commence the salvo! Oh, you look at that? Oh, you dear life, we have to... Holy crap, these Jennings have some serious HP. <laughs> Zero. Oh, there we go. Sorry. 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 I lost. Was my claim to immortality nothing but a mirage all of these years? Oh, he finally realizes. But I have some unfinished business down in Aleppo. Consider your next spare. For now. The treasuries will be really useful to keep alive. But like, Beitor in very... Very terrible location. Oh, why would I even bother going for the mid minor ones? And you have failed us all. Now the whole world encloses us. Prove to us that you are a capable leader and not just some self absorbed fraud. I think it's a self absorbed fraud. But there's a question for that. Oh, my dear. Completely missed that was a TC there. We're only doing five TCs. I'm not entirely against that, to be honest. We can find some relic carts while we're waiting. Also, I had the stone, but. I don't even have a mill. That's alright. We're definitely gonna need to use some market here. Do everything running. Oh my god. 
سلام آماده صحیح معمار آماده Memor, 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 I know this is for the mission design, but what moron puts their treasuries like this? <laughs> In three different spots all over the city that aren't even protected. I'm gonna find a relic card, but oh, there's one there. Let's get that. Put that in. I can't really afford that right now. Your desperate gifts mean nothing to us anymore. <laughs> I like this mission, it's sort of a... Like a, a life lesson, don't be dicks. To everyone. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. No, sure, Evan. Don't do it. Oh, that was no way of being. If we can go to these into the castle. We already have mana holes, it's fine if they attack that. It's gonna take absolutely forever for them to get be killed by it. So it's all of the best that we can do. Yeah, I think we stone wall. Really need to get this wood spent. Is this, there's no way good for farms. It all kind of sucks a little bit. Get to like 60 farms, we should be good. Alright, that feels right to defend this area without having to put too much effort into it. Yep, the Armenians want some revenge. Can't say as I blame them. <laughs> Actually, against the Zavar, if they actually have a decent number of Alps, they'd be a bit of a threat. Oh, the Warrior Priest was wondering what I was for a second. Kind of wanna. Castle over here, to be honest. Okay, we're really floating wood. 
Pretty sure you're meant to do fish in this mission. I think I hear things on the ships, yeah. Get a lot of investment still alive. The conscription is. We also get killed. Then we start to play a bunch of food, we can sell at a good price. We actually have a caravan story as well. It's like they're just trying to remind you, hey, by the way, you get this. <laughs> Uh, kind of getting close to that sort of maximum number of farms that I kind of want. Where I'd rather just have military. Than having more villages on food. I can find an extra relic cart somewhere. Oh shit. I may be up. I'm chill out. I mean, we are quite literally surrounded by enemies. I don't want to get this to be honest. I can't really afford that right now. Ooh, that wood price is not where I want it to be. Once more, old adversary. Lucky for you, I am feeling rather generous today. But first, I expect an act of goodwill. Give me a relic, and I will teach you how to better handle your artillery. I actually have to make a dot to make the thing so I can capture the relic. Oh, that's annoying. We'll get a castle in front of there soon ish. Oh, I forgot about getting these back to work. the Ottomans actually are. But I imagine their full base is there. Maybe it is. What's we're gonna attack Hussar? And then what we'll do is to the minor enemies, we can send Hussar. Uh, it reminds me, did we get that far? Shit, where did he go? What was that? Oh, it's castle. Wanna let me in? Oh, 
campaigning is making me busy. But since you're a man of your word, I figured it only right that I spare a bit of help for a friend in need. Good luck in your endeavors. Crashing a lot. Oh. Oh, where's the hell? Oh, the heavy camels. <laughs> Reminds me of Don Francisco, God rest his soul. As promised, I will return the favor. Perhaps now you can break even with the Ottomans. Yeah. Yeah. Not particularly useful, honestly. Like, obviously better than not having it, but... I guess in the relic carts must be like in really weird locations. a little bit. Put them down. <laughs> Got stuck on the wall. Guessing the Ottomans must have like this entire corner or something. Start trapping this down. We have all the things they can get from us. So. I lost the monk already. I had one job. But the monk had one job. Luckily, they're just humans, otherwise, this dude would have been very dead here. Holy castles, okay. It's gonna take a while. 
really wish that rather than giving us freaking Arcubus, they'd given us. What's it called instead? Uh, Siege Engineers. They're much more useful. I'll give you find some more. I don't really want them to attack just uh you know what things they're already losing that. Attack as you wish now. They might as well seeing as they're already dying. Armenians are allied with the, with the Ottomans there? Damn. Our right, Alan's down. Time for war. I'm gonna use Hassar down here. Ottomans are pretty, getting pretty close to being back at full force. I end up one another castle here to stop them attacking from here as easily. Alright, and then all the new ones up here will do Savar. It doesn't help when they decide to go and die like that. Hussar are killing. <laughs> yeah, they do pretty well. Problem is, I might be losing them very quickly to something elsewhere at this rate. It feels like one of those missions where they should really make me destroy all of them, not just some of them. this on the castles. Also gonna send most of these Hussar in different directions. Wanna weaken their economies a little bit. Let's see if we can find some more relic carts. Also, I'll just get through a few of those XP units. I'm really not using at this point. Well, 
I think we should have found an extra one or two of these if by accident, to be honest. Where is their economy? Is that a treasury or is that a university? Yeah, the university. Yep. I said these would stop dying. I don't know what else they're attacking, but it's definitely not all about the castle right now. I think it's a piece of wall next to it. Yeah, I must have tossed them on the wall. Yeah, they basically aren't a problem anymore. Where else could these, uh... Relic cards be. I kill the cut the TC. I actually kind of want to do destroy this as well. The Ottoman's base can't go that far. Because Grey's is up to here, Orange is up to here. Unlock new taunt options. Oh, you can actually make them attack specific ones now. See, this hotel can survive very long. Ottoman's being not in, in any sort of shape to fight for 45 minutes. It's this mission way too easy in my opinion. At least so far anyway. What's back here? That'll be where a big army will come from, guarantee it. sounds. I don't see any Jannies or anything. Wait, did they give Citadel to these as well? Oh, uh, it's just that one making the noise, but it's very loud. Uh, I think it's time to go dive with these. They have nothing to defend it anyway. everything I can see. <laughs> there we go. Pride is lost, yet this empire still stands. Have I overlooked my true greatness all along? 
I am not sure. Did he? Thousands of men lost their lives that day. But the greatest casualty in Ismail's mind was his image as an immortal ruler, which had been forever shattered. Gradually succumbing to doubts and darker thoughts, he would never be the same. Yet for the first time since I found him here, this wretched man sounds sincere, as if he has reverted to his younger self. I now feel a tingling of pity for the man that I had once admired. However wrongly he has treated his devoted followers, I cannot deny his greatness. From an early age, he overcame hardship, impossible expectations, and his own pride to forge the mightiest Persian dynasty in over a millennium. Ever since Ismail's fall ten years ago, I have anxiously dreamt of vengeance in my fallen brother's name. Yet as I reflect upon everything, the thought now almost cripples me. Weak though my heart grows, I have let Ismail govern my emotions for too long. Now, I am the master of my fate. Well that does it for the Ismail campaign, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it please be sure to leave a like and I'll see you soon with the next campaign.